The concern with housing is like what we see in the finance industry, the unknown. At this particular time on the planet, especially in the West, fear is actually ruling. You cannot afford to be part of it. It will pull you up in a vortex, in a cyclone, and it will spit you out. It will munch you up until there is nothing left of you. Today, I went to buy formula for my son and realized I had $36 in my bank account. Everything inside me seized up. What happens when you allow yourself to be controlled by fear, fear that is not real. If the tiger's jumping out at you, I'll give you. You can be frightened, that's okay. The nature of fear I'm talking about is what the media dumps out at us all the time. Or what so-called so uh, people that wish to predict the future. When you buy into that, when you listen to that, you lose your ability to be free. And that in itself is one of the most horrible things that can happen to a human being. What is going to happen to you and your family when you feel that you will have no funds? Where does fear have a part in this? Because it certainly won't change anything for you. It certainly won't make anything better. In fact, it will squash every creative part you actually have. Fear is a suppressive emotion. So here you have a scenario you know, a lot of people are facing this, mm -hmm. okay? Where is fear going to benefit you here? So when you look at your bank account, okay, there can be no place in you for fear. There can only be a place in you, what do I need to do? And even if all these things happen, okay, it cannot define who you are. If you allow fear to define who you are, then you become fear. And even if nothing has been, nothing can be done about it, why would you let your dignity as a being go and grovel around in fear on the floor? Why? Why would you do that? So we build these sandcastles and all our energy, all our focus and all our attention and our life force is on these sandcastles. And have you ever seen people do sandcastles? They can be magnificent. But the tide comes in and washes it all away. So we invest our life force, we invest our energy, we invest our feelings in building sandcastles. Okay? So all people's lives are invested in these sandcastles and along comes the tide, the tide being time, whoosh, takes it away. But what you feel is how you live. It's the feeling that you get building the sandcastle, not the sandcastle. Which then in turn gives you the freedom. You got it. Is there hope in this world? Starts with you. Is there hope in changing you when you look at your bank account? That's how it starts. One person, one person, one person, one person. That's how it starts. If you don't want war on the planet, stop the war inside of yourself. If you don't want hatred on the planet, stop the hatred inside of yourself. If you don't want uh, poverty on the planet, take care of the poverty that is within you. And when we get to fear, if you do not wish to live in an environment of fear, stop it within you. Fear? Do you think there's room for fear? Because there's no room for fear. Okay. Compassion instead of fear. Kindness instead of fear. That's what needs to happen in this world. That's really what needs to happen in this world.